Boy, well, looks like the raccoons are tearing this creek up right here. Guys, I'm out here today doing a little pre-season scouting for bow season and squirrel season. And it looks like it's going to be a pretty good season this year. This little old branch right here is just about dried up right now, but right here where the main part of the main spring is, we've still got water. And I can still see deer tracks and uh, coon sign in this thing right here. So that's what I'm doing out here today. I thought I'd talk to you a little bit about it. Maybe go back around in my blind area. It is uh, raining a light rain out here right now. You can't really see it because of the leaf cover, but I'm going to check on around the ridge here and uh, we'll talk a little bit more about preseason hunting or scouting. Now check that out, guys. Here's, here's one little tip for some of you younger guys that don't know this. This crawdad hole right here that's already dried up. If you're out of water in your little branch over here, which you can see doesn't have any water running in it. If you start digging down and boring down, guys, you're going to find some water down right below this crawdad hole right here. That's a, that is one good tip right there. Nice deer trail going around that ridge right there. It's out between those two trees and goes right around right below my campsite over there. So let's go over there and see if we can see any more sign. Oh yeah. That's some really nice sign right here. I also see some see some bear sign as well. He's been tearing right into it looking for buck. And looks like the the white pine cones did good this year too. So there's some seeds in there that squirrels can eat, so that's I'm not seeing very many acorns up here on this ridge neither, so they they will start eating these things. Right there's another good survival pocket of water right there. See that little that little bit of water right in there? If you didn't have any water to drink, guys, you could take an, your handkerchief or a piece of cloth and you could get that water out of that stump right there and drink it if you needed to. That's a good way to find it in the wilderness too. And not holding a tree. Also a good time, guys, to inspect your tree stand. Make sure nothing's come loose on it because there's been a lot of tragic accidents where people have got up in wooden stands they've built and the tree has moved over the summer and pulled their nails and spikes loose and they fall out of the tree and get injured or, or killed. And that's what I'm doing right here, inspecting a tree stand. We had some good old action going on right there. That was a yellow jacket's nest in the ground. Look how deep that thing was. Them things can get huge in the ground. Something's come along and dug him up and ate the whole thing. They ate the they eat the bees and the, the nest as well, so they can eat that larva inside that nest. That's a good sign. You got some critters in your area. Watch for that. In survival situations, you might be able to catch that critter and eat him. Now, look this right here, guys. This is my combination camera mount. It's easy to make. It's made out of a piece of aluminum. You can see how I bent the thing to fit on my particular stand. I can screw my camera right on to that quarter 20 nut right there. That's what that is. That's a quarter 20 screw with a nut on it to hold it in place and an o-ring on it so that your camera comes down on a piece of rubber instead of that piece of metal right there. This thing works really good and you can bend it over if you need to change the angle on your camera this direction. That thing works excellent. You need to make you one of them. I don't have a patent on it. And that's what I'm looking for. Chestnut oak acorns. Yeah, buddy. 
where they are, there's going to be squirrels and they're going to be deer until they are consumed. Well, guys, it looks like my camp has spent the last winter and this summer and is still in position and the wind hasn't blowed it away. It's a good sign, guys, that I built it sturdy and that it's turned against the prevailing wind. The back of it's pointed toward the west. I did see some Indian pipe here. Remember I showed you Indian pipe last year? Growing right in here in these pine trees. There's you some anti-anxiety medicine right there. Indian pipe, remember that. You can find that stuff just about anywhere in the Allegheny Mountains right now where there's pine forests. And especially where an old pine tree for some reason or another has uh, rotted down. <coughs> That's what we got right here. But anyway, but, you know when I built this thing I just bent this tree right here straight over. So this thing right here is tied to the earth and it's not going to go anywhere even if the wind blows. And I, saw, I, I tied all my ridge poles on and put this old piece of tarp on top of it and it dries the bone in here. So anyway, guys, it's time, like I say, to get out and scout right now in my neck of the woods. And pre-scouting is the way to go. Go out and check and see whether you're hunting squirrels, whether you're hunting deer. Go out and pre-scout that stuff and look it up. And, uh, uh, you know, make a place to put your stand up. And, uh, guys, I want to thank you for watching my videos. I really do. Uh, you don't know how much I really do appreciate you guys watching my videos, commenting on my videos, and uh, keeping me inspired to do them. Because I've been doing them now for almost 10 years. And it's sometimes it's hard to come up with things to, uh, to, to keep renewing, uh, you know, videos on YouTube. So... I really do thank you. Thanks for watching and have a great day.